Hi, did you find everything okay? I sure did, but that's because I come here all the time. Wait, how much did those ring up for? Uh, it looks like $14.99. Wait, what? I, that's more than I thought it would be. Okay, did you still want it? Oh, no, don't worry. I know how to handle this. Don't worry. So actually, I've seen that exact same pair of pants at Marshall's, and they were a lot cheaper. Okay, so did you not want them? Well, don't you want to match the price? Oh, I can't do that. I'm sorry. How about this? We do it for $4.99. That sounds like a good deal, huh? I can do that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, we don't bargain here. Whatever the price tag says it is, I, I can't change that. I'm sorry. Well then, ma'am, it looks like you just lost another customer. No problem. Have a nice day. Y you just lost my service. I'm, I'm not going to buy it. I, I'm not. Oh, no problem. Did you need help finding the way out? We're leaving and we're not buying anything. I wish you would. We're going to tell all of our friends about this. She's such a mess. Oh, hi there, are you ready to check out? Oh, I don't care, I don't trust her. Oh, okay. No, don't even invite her, we don't need drama. All right, your total's gonna be 45.67 today. Well, you heard she has two boyfriends, right? Um, is that gonna be cash or card? And they were roommates. What? Here. Oh, um, no, I'm sorry, I can't go through your stuff, but if you want me to just cancel the transaction. Hold on, hold on, let me call you back. This girl can't figure her shit out. I'm sorry, what's the problem? I just can't go through your wallet, but your total is forty-five sixty-seven. if you're ready to pay. Ugh, let me see. I can't find my card. Oh, no problem, take your time. Did you take it? I did not. Well, it was in here earlier and you were the last person that had it. Yep, and I gave it right back to you. I didn't even touch the zipper. I don't think you're being entirely honest with me, young lady. I think you're trying to take advantage while I was on an important phone call. Hmm, can I go on break? Okay, you want me to throw your ball? Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah? Is that your dog? Yes. Has that dog been properly trained? Properly trained for what? To be around all types of animals. You know your dog can't be here unless it's specifically accustomed to being around all types of animals. What does that mean? This is a dog park. Well, I saw your dog eyeing my cat while we were just trying to peacefully read over there and we feel threatened. Okay, but again, you're at a dog park. Oh, and where's the closest cat park? It's not okay to discriminate against cats. I don't understand your logic. I don't understand your logic. You brought a cat to a dog park and now you're yelling at me. Well, I just wanted to let you know that we've contacted the police. Uh huh, great. And what did they tell you? They said that you have to leave. Okay, well, unless someone comes to enforce that, no. Let's go, kitty Karen. Oh, excuse me, the end of the line is actually way back there. Oh, I know, I just don't have time for that long line. I just have to ask a quick question. I'll be really fast. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's not how this works. Oh, well, you see, I'm in a hurry, so... Okay, and I get that. I was also in a hurry, but I had to wait in this line, so you're gonna have to do the same thing. <sighs> you're not gonna do me a favor? No, I don't even know you. Well, haven't you heard of a random act of kindness? Yeah, but if it's being demanded, it's not very random. Well, it won't kill you to help out a stranger now, will it? So if you'll just let me be. Okay, but it's not just affecting me. It's affecting every single person in this line that's been waiting. The answer is no. Okay, well, I don't have time for that. And I don't have time for this. <laughs> Do you even know what it's like to have arthritis? What? Exactly. You should really consider what other people are going through before you're rude to them. Okay, I'm gonna say this once. I have very hot coffee and I'm not afraid to use it. Why are you personally attacking me? Excuse me? Yeah, excuse me. You. Um, why are you sweeping and cleaning in front of my table? That's so disgusting. Oh, I'm sorry. I can move over here if you'd like. We just have to sweep the floor after the end of each shift. I don't know why you'd think this is a good idea to do right now. You're going to make me lose my appetite. I hear you. We just also have to make sure the restaurant stays clean throughout the day. I don't care. Why are you arguing with me? I'm the customer here. If I say I don't like it, you don't do it. I'm sorry, but like I said, at the end of each shift, we- Carlin, I don't care if you have to stay here and wait for us to finish our meal all night. You're not sweeping in front of me. Hey, Sarah, can you grab me the extra large garbage bags? There's a ton of trash at this table. I won't be paying for this meal. They haven't even made your meal yet, so just go. Oh, these are cute. Oh, these look so soft. Okay, is there a reason you're standing right on top of me? Excuse me, I'm just looking around. Okay, and we're still in a pandemic. You're not even wearing a mask. The least you could do is just stay a few feet back from me. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but if you have a problem with me being here, then you should have stayed home. 
I don't have a problem with you being here. I have a problem with the fact that you're disrespecting my personal space more so than anyone ever did before the pandemic. So I'm not sure why you're doing it during a pandemic. Well, you see, I don't have to worry about the virus. I already had it. Why am I not surprised? I mean, since I already got it, it's like I'm immune now. I don't have to worry about it. Look, all I'm asking is just for you to stay six feet away from me, please. <laughs> Whatever, you know the virus is a hoax, right? You just said that you've had it. You're confusing me. Just stay away from people. That's a lot to ask for. Your costume is so cute. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Whoa, hold on. Give me your candy bag. Okay, mom. Um, excuse me. Oh, that's a Snickers. Um, do you think I'm stupid? Are you stupid? Are you an idiot? Are you dumb? Are you an absolute ignorant moron? What the hell? Excuse me? Do you know anything about kids? Yeah, I'm a teacher, so... Okay, then you should know that children have soy allergies. Okay, I'm sorry. Usually the parents just pick out what, you know, the kids can't eat, but... <laughs> okay, so now this is my responsibility on Halloween. <laughs> Jessica, can you believe this woman just tried to kill you? Um... Okay, well, just don't eat it. Good night. <laughs> the absolute nerve. Whatever. So inconsiderate. No, kids, don't come to this house. She's an actual witch. Hi, did you find everything okay? I sure did, but that's because I come here all the time. Wait, how much did those ring up for? Uh, it looks like $14.99. Wait, what? I, that's more than I thought it would be. Okay, did you still want it? Oh, no, don't worry. I know how to handle this. Don't worry. So actually, I've seen that exact same pair of pants at Marshall's, and they were a lot cheaper. Okay, so did you not want them? Well, don't you want to match the price? Oh, I can't do that. I'm sorry. How about this? We do it for $4.99. That sounds like a good deal, huh? I can do that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, we don't bargain here. Whatever the price tag says it is, I, I can't change that. I'm sorry. Well then, ma'am, it looks like you just lost another customer. No problem. Have a nice day. Y you just lost my service. I'm, I'm not going to buy it. I, I'm not. Oh, no problem. Did you need help finding the way out? We're leaving and we're not buying anything. I wish you would. We're going to tell all of our friends about this. Hi, can you tell me how much this is? Uh, it looks like that'll be $5.99. Shh, okay, never mind. Did you not want it? Oh, no, I'm a dollar short, so maybe next time. You know what, don't worry about it, it's on me. Just have a good day. Wait, really? Are you sure? Thank you. It's seriously not a problem. I know times are tough right now. You are so sweet, thank you. I can take whoever's next. Oh, I see we're giving out free handouts now? No. Oh, right. And how do I get free stuff, too? Not that it's any of your business, but I happen to know that that woman is homeless, and the least I could do is spare her a dollar. Aw, how charitable. And does the manager know that you're giving stuff away for free? Okay, that's definitely not what's going on. Because I think they'd be very interested to know that an employee is stealing from them. Your total is twelve fifty-seven. dollars Aw, you're not going to cover my bill. Your total is twelve fifty-seven. I'm still waiting for my discount. <laughs> I need security to the front. I got a woman trying to shoplift. I need a new room as soon as possible because mine smells like cat pee. Oh, I'm so sorry. What room? Room 112. I would like myself and all of my personable belongings escorted out of the room, but do not touch anything. Yeah, no problem. I'm so sorry. The room was cleaned before you came in, so I just don't understand. <sighs> yep, this is an embarrassment. I did Facebook Live everything, so all of Rhode Island did hear about this. Okay, so I do have a room available. Um, it looks like it's on the floor right above... You, sorry, I'm hearing things, um, perfect. <clears throat> Weird question, do you have a cat? Uh, yes. I see, okay, ma'am, we do not allow pets at our hotel. Well, that's ridiculous, why not? Well, we wouldn't want the rooms to smell like cat pee. Well, that chick's got her dog over there. Oh, uh, well, you see, that's a service animal, so that's not just her pet. Okay, so just because her dog was in the military means it gets special treatment? No, it didn't serve in the military. It's a service animal. Well, my cat was in the Air Force. And just let me know if you need anything, okay? Perfect. Thank you. I know. I'll talk to her. Hi there. So my son and I over there have been waiting a really long time for our food, and we noticed that you somehow got yours first. Oh, that's really weird. I'm sorry. I don't know. They just gave me my food first. I don't have control. I understand all that. But, you know, since we've had to wait so much longer than you, I just figured you could give up your meal to us. No, you know, I think your food will be out any second. Well, I already told my son that you'd give your chips to him because I can tell you're a nice person. Okay, well, I'm sorry that you lied to your son because I'm certainly not sharing my chips with him. What kind of person can look at a starving child and let them suffer? Okay, I waited for my food just like everybody else, just like you have to. So, so you're the reason for starving children in America? Good to know. Why is your kid so starving? This is your last chance to be a good person and give me your food. If you put one finger on my chips, I swear I'll saw it off. 
Who are you? Oh, my name is Sam. It's my first day. What can I get you? Oh, um, odd. I'll be getting my regular. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I'm new, so I don't know what your order is. <sighs> well, can you just go ask the girls in the back then? Or you could just tell me what it is. Oh, whoops. I don't think you're in any position to be talking to an executive coffee drinker like myself, so go get the girls. Okay, there's no one in the back. It's just me. What can I get you? Did you say this was your first day? Because it's about to be your last. Go get a manager. Be right back. That little girl does not know who she's messing with. Ugh, not this woman again. Hi, how can I help you? Oh, thank God you're here. This new girl is targeting me and she's refusing to give me my order. She won't even tell me her order. Well, I made my request and you refused, so... So, what is your order? Well, Tammy, you should know. I'm a regular here. Yeah, we have a lot of regulars. Tammy, don't make me call corporate again. Okay, your total is 32.43. Go ahead and pull up to the next window. Oh, you forgot the manager discount. We don't have that. Okay, well, I get half off every time I order here because I know the manager. Which manager? It shouldn't really matter. It kind of does. You're asking for a 50% discount. Well, this has never been an issue for me before, and I come here almost once a week, so I'm not sure what the problem is. Yeah, I've worked here for five years. I've never heard of a manager discount, and I don't know who the hell you are. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I misspoke. It's because I'm a manager that I get a discount. That's what it is. Okay, you're a manager of what? I'm a shift lead at Claire's, so I get a manager discount here? That has nothing to do with our establishment. What are you talking about? Is it really that hard just for you to type in 50% off on your little keypad there? What is the problem? Tell you what I can do. I can delete half of what you ordered, so now it's half the cost. That seems like a scam. Hi, is it just one tonight? No, it'll actually be a party of six. I'm just here early. Okay, perfect. Just let me know when the rest of your party gets here and then we can seat you, okay? Oh, I was hoping you could actually seat me now. You see, I got here early because I know you guys get super busy and we really want to claim our spot. Oh, well, we actually need at least half of your party to be here before we can seat you, but you're more than welcome to wait at the bar or the high tops. No, you see, I'm here, so I can claim the whole table for everybody. Well, technically, your group isn't actually here yet, and we can't just have people taking up tables. Unfortunately, we're really busy tonight, so I don't like that policy. Me either. I, I'm sorry, I can't change it. It's just... Well, I, I don't know what to do now. I guess I have to call them and, and let them... Yeah, where are you guys? No, we can't get a table. I can't do it. She's not letting me. I guess they changed the policy. I don't know. Like I said, you're more than welcome to wait at our bar. I am eight months sober, so thanks. Thanks for reminding me of that. Appreciate it. The bar has water. Yeah, no, I'll take a gin and tonic. <laughs> oh, excuse me, pardon me. I'm a nurse. I gotta get to the front. Hi, can I place an order to go pronto? Yeah, of course, but our line actually starts all the way back there, so I'll get to you after all these people. Oh, no, no, no. See, I'm a nurse, so my orders usually get, you know, expedited. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't do that here. Oh, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm a nurse, so maybe, you know, write that down somewhere so you don't forget. I need a large coffee to go now. Okay, we don't do that here, so you're gonna have to get to the back of the line. Are you not hearing me? I'm a medical staff. Okay, I got it. You're a nurse. I heard you, but you still have to wait your turn like everyone else. I can't wait in this long line. I gotta get to my job at the hospital where I'm a nurse and I save lives. If someone dies, it's gonna be on you. Huh, I'm sorry. I guess next time you better get here earlier. Would you say that to a doctor? Yes. <gasps> Would you say that to a police officer? Still yes. <gasps> you... So, I need a large coffee to go, so... Do you realize four more people already got in line? And for the name, you can put nurse. I think everyone will know it's my order. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. You and your children have to be wearing some type of foot protection at our water park. Wait, what? Why? It's for the safety of yourself and others. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, kids, put on shoes! And all students attending our school must wear their school uniform every day. Of course, understandable. Where can I pay? You have any idea why I stopped you today? No. You need to have your seatbelt on. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. Oh, sir, I'm sorry. Our guests are required to wear a jacket to eat here. Oh, whoops. I forgot mine in the car. I'll go get it. No problem. Oh, ma'am, I'm so sorry. Your dog actually has to be wearing a leash here. Oh, thanks for letting me know. I'm so sorry. Come here, Sharpe de Mayo. Hi, we just need you to put on your mask before you go inside. Uh, excuse me? You want me- <laughs> You want me to what? You have the audacity to tell me what to do with my body? Question, why does my bill say you're charging me for two margaritas? Oh, because you ordered two margaritas. Yeah, they were buy one get one free? Oh, no, I'm so sorry. We actually don't have any specials on our drinks right now. Uh, well, when I was here for Black Friday, they were definitely buy one get one free, so I think you should honor that. Did you say Black Friday, like, of 2020? Because it's January of 2021 and that sale is long gone. I'm so sorry. Well, why didn't you tell me that before I ordered them? Well, could you at least show me on the menu where it led you to believe that they were buy one get one? Because maybe it's not on this menu, it was on that other one. What other one? 
the one from Black Friday. Okay, those menus don't even exist anymore. Okay, well, what can you comp from my bill to make up for this? Nothing. I'm sorry, you're expecting me to pay for everything I ordered? Yes. Oh, these are cute. Oh, these look so soft. Okay, is there a reason you're standing right on top of me? Excuse me? I'm just looking around. Okay, and we're still in a pandemic. You're not even wearing a mask. The least you could do is just stay a few feet back from me. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but if you have a problem with me being here, then you should have stayed home. I don't have a problem with you being here. I have a problem with the fact that you're disrespecting my personal space more so than anyone ever did before the pandemic, so I'm not sure why you're doing it during a pandemic. Well, you see, I don't have to worry about the virus. I already had it. Why am I not surprised? I mean, since I already got it, it's like I'm immune now. I don't have to worry about it. Look, all I'm asking is just for you to stay six feet away from me, please. <laughs> Whatever, you know the virus is a hoax, right? You just said that you've had it. You're confusing me. Just stay away from people. That's a lot to ask for. All right, happy holidays, everyone. I hope you have a safe winter break and a happy new year. Okay, let me just talk to your teacher first, okay? Hi, so I just wanted to remind you, it's definitely not a bad thing to say Merry Christmas. You don't have to say Happy Holidays. Oh, well, there's numerous holidays in December, and we want to encourage diversity and inclusiveness in our classroom, so we like to talk about all the different holidays and not just one. I'm sorry, I thought this was a Christmas party, so I brought Christmas cookies. I'm confused what we're celebrating. Okay, and no one's discrediting Christmas. It doesn't take anything away from Christmas to acknowledge other holidays exist. Okay, well, the majority of people in America celebrate Christmas, so why are you trying to make us feel inferior? I'm not. I'm encouraging everyone to go celebrate the holidays as they please. I'm personally not okay with that. I don't care. Why all of a sudden can we not be proud to celebrate Christmas? Everyone else can have their culture, but we can't. <laughs> Nobody said that but you, and you're the only person upset here. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, happy holidays. Who are you? Oh, my name is Sam. It's my first day. What can I get you? Oh, um, odd. I'll be getting my regular. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I'm new, so I don't know what your order is. <sighs> well, can you just go ask the girls in the back then? Or you could just tell me what it is. Oh, whoops. I don't think you're in any position to be talking to an executive coffee drinker like myself, so go get the girls. Okay, there's no one in the back. It's just me. What can I get you? Did you say this was your first day? Because it's about to be your last. Go get a manager. Be right back. That little girl does not know who she's messing with. <laughs> Ugh, not this woman again. Hi, how can I help you? Oh, thank God you're here. This new girl is targeting me and she's refusing to give me my order. She won't even tell me her order. Well, I made my request and you refused. So, so what is your order? Well, Tammy, you should know. I'm a regular here. Yeah, we have a lot of regulars. Tammy, don't make me call corporate again. Oh, excuse me, is that your car parked in our handicap spot out front? Yes, it is. Did you hit it? No, no, I just noticed that there wasn't a handicap permit on it, and we do have some patients that need to park there. Are you the law enforcement? Obviously not. Well, you're actually violating my constitutional right by even approaching me about this. That is not that. Okay, I'm just asking if you don't have a permit to please move your car for someone that does. Well, if you had asked me, I'm actually very sick today. You are in a doctor's office. Everyone here is very sick. Well, I also think I got some tonsillitis right in my back here. Ugh. Can you just move your car, please? God, I still got blisters on my fingers from my sleeping disorder. I just physically can't do what you're asking. Okay. Yeah, can you send the tow truck? She's refusing to move. Fine, and you know what? I'll be back with a note from my chiropractor. Perfect, but when you come back, make sure you don't park in that handicap spot or I'll tow you again. <laughs> I'm taking photo evidence. Okay, be careful of those blisters. Thank you.